So Alistair forced you to have sex with him. Is that what you're saying? Why else would I? Things that I said that you heard, like I was enjoying it, um, that he was the best. I acted that way because that's what he wanted me to say. He's a sick bastard. I'm his prisoner until his dying day. No, you're not. You don't have to be. Teresa, you can leave right now. I'll help you just like we planned. I will, I will take you to someplace safe, and then I'll bring little Ethan to you when things quiet down here. I can't do that, Ethan. See, I was wrong before. Alistair said that if I don't live up to the terms of our prenuptial agreement, that... He'll make sure I never see my little boy again. And I can't risk that. I cannot risk never seeing my child again. Teresa, you're not making sense. <laughs> I mean, why can't you and little Ethan just leave tonight? Because Alistair knows. Knows what? That, that I was helping you? No. He knows that I was planning to leave him. That's great. I had just finished packing, Ethan. And Alistair just barged into my room. He was wearing nothing but a robe and a smile. Yeah, Teresa, I get the picture, thanks. I tried to get him to wait for me in his room. But he wanted a... He wanted to have sex right then and there, so yeah. I thought that if I just did it, he wouldn't suspect that I was leaving. But then he saw my suitcase. So I had to tell him that I was leaving. I said I made a mistake, and he said that he understood. Oh, he did? Yeah, he did. He said I was free to go. And, um, I said that I was just going to grab my son and, and, you know, and get out of here. And he said that, um, little Ethan needs to stay here. And then if I did leave, well, he would make sure that I never saw my son again. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, no, Alistair can't. He can't keep you from taking your own son. Well, according to the prenuptial agreement that I signed, he's got full custody of little Ethan, whether I'm with him or not. What? And that's why I'm here. That's why I had sex with Alistair. Because he threatened me if I didn't. What do you mean, he threatened you how? He threatened to take it out on my little boy if I didn't do exactly what he wanted. Oh. Catherine was there, and she heard him threatening my son as well. Catherine, Catherine came to me. She told me you were in danger. I was wrong about her. And it took my marrying Alistair to realize that I am in no position to judge her. I understand that, Teresa, but that's all fine and good. But Catherine is not the one in jeopardy here. You are. Let me help you. Let me help you leave Harmony before Alistair can stop you. I can't. I will not take the chance that Alistair will retaliate against my son if I do. 